what's up you guys? Welcome back to Unusually Horrid Vlog. Now, if you're a regular to this channel, you might be asking yourself, isn't this the same video you already posted? No, but I am wearing the same outfit because I feel like doing two projects at once right now. So while my table is drying, uh, if you haven't seen the Chaos Craft video for my table project, go check that out. I'll put the info card somewhere on the screen. Anyway, this actually ties into that video just a tiny bit. So while we were cleaning out, well not we, while my brother-in-law and my sister were cleaning out their garage, they found a helmet that they were gonna throw away and inside this helmet, uh, they thought there might be a wig or a mannequin and I was kind of just curious. So I went over to where the helmet was and I saw the wig and I was like, no way! It was a wig that I had used for pirate cosplay forever ago, and I've literally been searching for this wig since I moved out of my sister's house, and I finally found it, and you know what? I think it is the next wig on my line of wigs I want to give a makeover to. So let's get a nice before, because I tend to forget to do that when I'm doing wig makeovers. Uh, specifically with the cat ear wig makeover, I really failed on getting any before pictures, so Let's really take some time to enjoy this before. We've got lots and lots of hair. So this is like a little bit different from any wigs that I usually wear because it's a very natural color and like a very natural texture. It's not like kind of like cartoony at all, but I really just want to give her some nice like bangs and I want to take out a lot of this bulk and I think I want to style her with maybe some space buns if she has enough hair. So. I hope you enjoy another wig styling video. Let's see what we can do with this to, I don't know, just give it a little bit more life. It's been sitting in a garage for a while. I'm not a huge fan of the way this part looks on me right now, so let's change that. Okay, so here's our lovely lady here. So as per usual, we've got our lovely panel brush, our lovely backcomb brush. We have two pairs of shears today because these ones are getting a little dull and these ones are still pretty sharp. So we're gonna use a combo of both of them. I've got my comb ready to go and we are good to jump into this. So first things first, my plan. Plan is to take a lot of this bulk out so it sits nicer on my head. I do love her curls, so I'm not gonna do any straightening. I really want to embrace the texture of this wig. I just want it to be a little lighter so it can feel nicer on my head and I don't particularly care for this type of bang on my face right now. I would much rather do some rounded bangs that go into some framing similar to the cat wig. We're gonna jump into cutting those bangs. Now, this wig does have a part line right here. Uh, we are trying to hide that because I don't like the part line. It has some fabric sitting under right here, which is very visible. So with the bangs, we are going to cover any and all possibility of seeing that on my face whilst wearing the wig. I'm gonna make sure this is on as straight as possible so that it will be as straight as possible on me. I am going to find a pin really quick and stick it there so I know exactly where my scalp line is so I can figure out where I want my bangs. So hold that thought. So now we have a nice blue marker. Here, I'll zoom in on that. So now we have a nice blue marker to show us where our wig will meet our head. So we've got the hairline pinned. I am going to go ahead and section off our bangs so that we're not cutting too far back into the um, body of the hair. All of this is going to be clipped back. And we're gonna do the same on this side. And this is the heavier side, since that's what way the part wanted to go originally. So we probably will take a little bit more hair off of this side than the other. Okay, so now we have our bang section out. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully, carefully start combing this out. Since this wig has been sitting in a garage for a long time, it is a little bit rattier than my other wigs, so it just needs a little TLC. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, twist it around this way, and I'm gonna hold this in place, and everything below my fingers is getting cut. So 
we're just gonna take this hunk of hair and set it right there for now. And look at that, we've already got some nice bangs going on. We just need to blend them now. So to blend this side first, we're gonna take that clip out. We're gonna hold this very carefully. These actually turned out really nice. And I do want these to be pretty full, so I am gonna flat iron them to give them a little bit of that sort of curly bounce to them to make them kind of princessy, kind of cute, kind of kawaii. But for now, we are just going to take this and blend our sides in very similar to how we did the cat wig. So I've got this side pretty blended in now. I'm gonna go ahead and match this side and then we're gonna start debulking. Okay, so I've got the bangs and the framing where I want it. Now we just really need to tackle like how bulky and how much hair we have here so that it can wear a little bit more comfortably and just look a little bit better on my head. So with that being said, similar to how I debulked the cat wig, I'm basically just gonna take chunks and sort of slide cut extra hair out. And I'm gonna do this all over the head. Not focusing too much on this side, most of my focus is gonna be in the back and the other heavy side. Okay, so my battery died and right after my battery died, I cut the tip of my finger off, just kidding. I cut part of my finger off while slide cutting this after my battery had died, so my sweat, blood, and tears are now in this wig. I got to about this section was where I was when I decided to shop shop my finger off, but we're good, we're good. I don't need stitches. Um, <laughs> we got pressure on it, I'll be fine. That just goes to show you that even if you have years of experience and you are professionally trained to use shears, they are still dangerous. So be careful. So we're going to be extra careful this time to not uh, chop our fingers off. Being as careful as possible. Slide, cut some chunks out of this baby. Trying to get into the interior sections as well because that's where the majority of the weight is. Looks like I might need to add a couple more anchor pins. Stick this one right here. And I am just gonna stick another pin right there. Hopefully that'll anchor it a little bit more. Now, unfortunately this mannequin head does not have like a hole in the bottom of it. So I can't put it on any mannequin stands that I do have. So unfortunately it's not the most stable thing in the world, but it'll get the job done. I'm just gonna comb some sections out with my fingers. We are gonna focus on getting some of this weight out of the back. Now I'm gonna take a technique here I use on real curly hair and just twirl these sections and slide cut. And I'm just gonna keep repeating the slide cutting process for a bit. So I will check back in with you guys in just a few. So I'm still in the process of thinning her out, but I remembered I kind of wanted to do space buns on her and I was sort of toying with the idea. And I think since this wig's mostly going to be worn on stream, I think I'm going to go not so much with like a high bun, but I think I want to do like a couple pigtails just like on either side, just to give it a little bit more um, dimension, make it obviously more like a character wig because I like to look like a cartoon. So I think that's where we're gonna go. Also, I want to make the frame a little bit more like Kawhi Lolita style. So I'm gonna cut these and straighten these bangs a little bit so that we have something hanging down here as well. Just a couple short pieces that I'm gonna flat iron. And then we are gonna find some rubber bands to get a couple pigtails here. And then we're gonna form those curls. So I have to go run and grab my flat iron. But as far as the cut goes. I'm relatively satisfied. She still has quite a bit of hair, but as you can see, we've taken a lot off. There's more on the ground. But yeah, I have to go run and grab my flat iron so we can put some heat styling on this mama. So before we do the heat styling, I really want to get that facial framing cut in. So I'm going on both sides and cutting in a more defined framing. 
And once that framing is in there, I went ahead and took my flat iron to those pieces and got them nice and smooth. And then we just went ahead and hit all the bangs with a flat iron to give them some nice volume and some nice shape. Okay, so I think I'm finally satisfied with the basic framing. So the way I wear my wigs on stream, I usually bring some of it forward and push the rest back so my headphones can fit over my ears comfortably. That's where this comes in. So this is the part of the framing that will be visible while I'm in my setup. I'm gonna try and put the pigtails I want a little bit further back so we have room for the headphones right about here. The next step are the pigtails and then we're gonna give it a nice spray down with some control attic. Okay, so I'm going to take about this much and I'm not gonna keep it very high, that way the tracks of the wig aren't super visible. And I'm just gonna use a brown hair tie to tie that in. Okay, so now that everything is shaped into place, I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice coating of Control Addict all over everything and then shape it in place with my comb. Okay, so the front's nice and set. Let's go ahead and define this curl. Nice. And we're gonna spray this side down. All right. Let's change cameras for a final view, shall we? I love it. Um, I'm super stoked for the bangs. I really like bangs when it comes to a wig, like my pink wig, super comfy. Just, I like the way it looks. I find bangs to be a little bit more comfortable to wear on wigs than sometimes ones that have really heavy framing. The only one I kind of can stand it on is my like long blonde wig that I wear pretty frequently on Twitch. But yeah, I will be wearing this one tonight for my Terraria stream. So if you're seeing this uh, video now, that stream was a long time ago, but I'm pacing myself on YouTube now. So this video is coming out quite a bit after this project is done, especially because we're working on two projects right now and that one's coming out first. Anyway, I'm very excited to wear this. I have it especially styled to fit my headphones where I like them. I'm really excited to see what this looks like on. Uh, you might have to check out my Twitch or I might just put in some pictures at the end of this video of what this wig looks like on. Anyway, I'm super happy with it. I have absolutely had a blast playing with wigs ever since I shaved my head last year and I'm excited to wear this one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoy my wig content because there's going to be more trust me because this is kind of a passion for me I actually really enjoy this so stick around for more wig content there will be more eventually and I hope you guys have a fantastic day thank you so much for watching if you like video games at all you should totally check out my twitch all my links are in my bio if you want to see more makeup pictures, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and I post my story all the time, so if you just want to know what I'm up to, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. If you want all the latest news on Unusually Horrid, don't forget to check out the Facebook page. Uh, I think that's all my social plugs I have to do. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, and yeah, have a good day. Um, have a good night. Have a good life. Unusually Horrid out. Okay, bye.